Well, it was the first time in the history of the world that uh, a news organization had covered live a war uh, from behind it, hostile lines. The beginning of the U.S. military action against Iraq in 1991 was a signature moment for the decade-old cable news network. We had three of our journalistic stars in Baghdad, uh, Bernie Shaw, John Holloman, and Peter Arnett, uh, and they were there coming right up on the time when the U.S. Uh, aerial bombardment of uh, Baghdad was to get underway. Uh, Tom Johnson, uh, a hero, just as Ted Turner is a hero in many ways, uh, felt strongly that we should pull our people out of Baghdad because we, would, we believed that they were in grave danger. Uh, Ted Turner overruled uh, Tom's uh, position. In fact, it was my position as well uh, that we get our people out, but Ted Turner said, no, if our people are willing to stay, we are going to permit them to stay, and if anything awful happens to anyone who stays behind, that will be on my conscience, not yours. But the success of CNN in 1991 was not a guarantee. In the late 1970s, Ted Turner was the only one who had a vision of 24-hour TV news, a cable news network. But getting the vision financed and delivered to cable systems was difficult, taking perseverance and debt to an extraordinary level that few people could handle. The one reason I'm pursuing this thing as strongly as I am is not just, uh, not just uh, for us, but I think the people of America need this in-depth news service, and uh, I'm willing and have been willing all along to risk everything that uh, I have to provide that service, and uh, we're going to provide it come heck or high water. The banks couldn't get more credit, and they just needed to get through the next payroll. And he said, you know what I'm going to do, cuz? I said, no, Ted, what? Now, here he is. I'm telling you, his collars were frayed. Hell, I wonder if he's going to survive another month. He said, I'm going to be the fourth network. If you remember Saturday Night Live, the wild and crazy guys. But Ted is the wild and crazy guy from Atlanta. And he's the wild and crazy guy from Atlanta who really brought the world of journalism into Atlanta, to focus on Atlanta. And I think that's, that's his, at least, legacy from a journalism perspective. He put Atlanta on the map for the world with regards to journalism. There was always pressure on Ted to move CNN to New York or uh, the entertainment assets to LA, but he steadfastly refused and kept them here in Atlanta. Turner was not always thought of as a serious, hard newsman that when he had just bought a UHF station, the FCC required a certain amount of time being dedicated to the news each day. Ted didn't like this requirement, so to satisfy it, he had one of his anchors, Bill Tush, read the newspaper with a bag over his head for the minimum amount of minutes necessary. On other days, he'd have a dog with a mouthful of peanut butter reading the newspaper. In the middle of the news, my hair, I had more of it then, fell down in front of my eyes. He said, fix your hair. He came on the PA, said, fix your hair. I just went, okay, and I kept reading. And that's what started the, the whole early morning off-the-wall newscast, because we did one thing led to another, and one thing led to another. And, uh, but in one week's time, you know, it went, and, and so Ted calls me up to his office and says, hey, we got to stop doing the crazy news. I'm like, okay. So I went from doing all this crazy stuff to trying to be Dan Rather. But Turner acquired a global vision for CNN from an unusual source. Fidel Castro had a satellite dish and he was stealing the signal and watching it and becoming a CNN fanatic. And that's why I invited Ted Turner to come to Cuba to talk about CNN. During their discussions, Fidel Castro said to Ted, you know, this CNN is such a phenomenon, you really should share it with the entire world. Until that moment, Ted Turner had never considered making CNN a truly global service. So I, I, I took, took a hard uh, look at what it would take to get it distributed, and it was renting uh, facilities on satellites to cover the whole, the whole world.
and the quality of the journalism mattered as much as its distribution. One of the amazing things about Ted Turner was his commitment to long-form journalism and journalism that mattered. You know, ratings were not uh, the be-all to end-all for Ted Turner, and we were blessed for 16 years at CNN to have no direct competition. Because he was a trailblazer, because CNN was first on the scene, not by a day or a year, but, but literally by 16 years, he was able to program CNN exactly the way he felt it should be programmed, so people could be smarter and better educated about the world. Ted Turner, a global visionary of journalism from Atlanta. We intend to cover all the news all the time. That's, and, and since we're going to be on for such a long period, continuously, we sign on on June 1, and barring satellite problems in the future, we won't be signing off until the world ends. <laughs> we'll be on, we will cover it live. You know, that will be our last, last event. We'll play the national anthem one time, and that's all.